cashier was very kind, but I will just say what he was not willing to say, which is there's nothing more uncomfortable than being sung to when you do not expect it, want it, or have asked for it. Don't sing to people, like it's awkward, it's uncomfortable, no one wants it, don't serenade people. I hated everything about that video. Yes, everyone hate, hate on me if you want, but it's the truth. I think more people are gonna side with you. Um, okay, so is it super awkward when somebody looks into your eyes and sings? It's the worst, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> do I really have to answer that? Okay, that one, we don't need a poll on that one. That one wins in a landslide. Yes, it's super awkward, okay? Now, having said that, come on, the kids are into it. I know. They got their kids into doing something fun and that's like innocent. Don't shame me with the kids, how dare you? <laughs> no, look, they, they love it, they love it. So go go somewhere outside and like sing on a sidewalk somewhere. Like don't- It's almost like a Christmas carol. Awesome, Christmas carols are great. When it's done, not in that context, right? When it's outside and it's like snowing and they're not singing to anyone specifically, right? They're singing generally. That's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> That's a very specific rule that Anna has. It, but no, Do but not sing specifically. Listen, you've got a captive audience and I have no problem with you singing Christian songs, but you've got a captive audience and not everyone's digging your Christian music or any, let me let me be clear about something, any music. Like I don't, if it's a, I like grunge music. If it's a grunge band and they decide to like break out in, in song and dance, there is no dancing in grunge. But anyway, my point is like- <laughs> they, they do a mosh pit on the plane. Yeah, we're gonna have issues. Yeah, like just don't <laughs> force a captive audience to listen to what or, or have to consume what you're putting out there, okay? They, they have nowhere to go, they're stuck. Yes, there's that added component of it being religious and some people might be turned off to that as well. But for me, it's more about the fact that being on a plane is, is bad enough already, right? It's uncomfortable enough, you're like, put in there like a sardine. To not be able to escape the situation that's taking place right there, I, I think is crazy. It's a great night to be a tiger. I'm here with my family and we are so excited to be in the great state of Louisiana, but more importantly, to be with you great fans. No, now, no. I know a lot of you guys aren't familiar with Brian Kelly, right? All of us here are, <laughs> but in case you're not, Another Twitter user put up him talking about, listen to the word family and when he's talking to his Notre Dame team versus when he's at that LSU thing. Let's listen to this. It was incredible 12 years of my life for me and my family um, being here at Notre Dame. It's a great night to be a Tiger. I'm here with my family and we are so excited to be in the great state of Louisiana. But more <laughs> 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 okay, I love fake people. I think they're hilarious, man. Uh, so, before it was family, he's from Massachusetts. He's from Massachusetts, okay? <laughs> and he goes down, and he's like, oh, I'm so happy to be here with my family <laughs> and now in Louisiana. <laughs> I'm surprised that he was a Boston the accent, okay. Jay. It was a Boston accent. You just misheard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, They're no, very similar. If, yeah, if he goes to co coach the Patriots, he'd be like, Oh, I'm, I, I'm glad I parked my car at Harvard Yard. <laughs> okay, he goes to, you know, to the Minnesota Gophers and he's like, let me tell you what I'm a boot. 